Tommy, it's just a cue up, yeah. All right, next athlete coming out. This man recently challenged for a piece of the flyweight title, one of the top contenders in the world, and a damn fine human being as well. How about a hand for Kai Counterfronts? All right, next up, we are going to bring out a heavyweight contender who has just been running this entire town all week. Putting smoke in the air and everything else. Hi, Bam Bam Tuivasa. And now we say hello to mixed martial arts royalty, the former UFC middleweight champion, and in my mind, future UFC Hall of Famer, the Reaper, Robert Whitaker. Eh, shy. <laughs> All right, so as you guys know, the UFC was launched in 1993, 30th anniversary. So uh, here we are. What a what a festive atmosphere, Robert, here in Perth this week. Oh, my God. This is absolutely unbelievable. You guys are absolutely killing it with the energy. The turnout would have to be one of the loudest and biggest turnouts I've seen for a fight. The support for the open workouts, for the weigh-ins, for the Q&As. You guys are just about at every event. I've seen one bloke here about seven times. Like, you guys are killing it. Good job. Let's get it. Hey, Ty. Been an interesting week. I know you've been all over the place doing backflips. This is your nation, and uh, it's been a press pretty festive week for you as well. It's fucking party! <laughs> hey, Shay. Kai, your thoughts on everything that this week has held here as the UFC gets back to Australia? Man, I, I was gutted I couldn't be a part of this card. I actually had an injury, so unfortunately, but um, happy to be here. You know, this is exciting, just being a part of this, you know, um, and just privileged to represent you guys on the world stage. You know, these Anzacs, we're taking over, baby. Yes, and Kyle, the veteran statesman up here, I know you've been there, you've done that, the sport has changed a lot, but got to be pretty, pretty cool for you to be back in this environment and, and feel this energy. Yeah, the energy's been absolutely awesome, you know. Um, it's great to be back here. Oh, makes me want to fight again. I know I can't, I'm too old now, too busted up, but, you know, the crowd's been phenomenal, so it's good. Really, it's amazing where the sport is. I remember when Robert Whitaker, go ahead, Rob. Okay, I just want to say one thing. Before six of you stand up and say, hey, Rob, I came here because I bought tickets because you were fighting, I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault this time. Like, enjoy the show. I'll still be there. I'm still here. I'm in Perth, but... Yeah, apologies. So just to save you that question. <laughs> and that's probably a good reminder off. for me. I'm supposed to let you guys know that uh, we can't do autograph and photo requests as much as I know these guys would love to break down and do that. Um, we're going to get some media questions here. I was just going to say, I remember when Robert Whitaker, of course, made his debut against Bradley Scott on the Gold Coast. He still had 1990 in his social media handles. And now look at him. So uh, very well, excited to be here. Uh, do we have our first media question as I look out into the crowd? Anybody? Any brave souls? All right, we have microphones on either side. Fans and media alike, feel free, I guess, to come down. Let's go, young man. What do you got? Let's go. When are you coming to Perth to uh, bring that title back to Australia, baby, and make it up to the Perth fans? <laughs> I, yeah. I assume you were talking to me because you were eyeballing the hell out of me the whole time. He's one of the guys that bought a ticket. With <laughs> But, um, yeah, mate, it, it would be a dream. It's a, I still owe Perth a fight, and I, I, I stand by that. It is something I, I, I do think about. I am here. I'm doing as much as I can, but as soon as possible, that's the answer, as soon as possible. Well, my direction is always towards the gold, so as soon as possible. Love it. You're the man. Well, I find it hard to believe that we're not going to have any other brave souls, but I am going to ask these guys about the main event. Do we have somebody, young man? No? Have a go with the questions, guys. Have a go. Hey, John. John. Can't you put, everyone, yes, everyone's sir. putting their hands up. You've got to go and fucking get on the mic. <laughs> it's not school. Get we'll get, up, brother. <laughs> we'll get to you in one second, okay? First, go ahead. John, a wee question for you here. Um, can you ask Dana when he's going to bring the next event to Sydney? I will try. This year! This year! I'm telling you, hey, we've got a so. fucking arm and leg to fucking be here, but I'll tell you what. It's well fucking worth it. All I can tell you is I do...
believe the company hopes with every intention to come back to Australia in 2023, later just, this year. Just said me, yeah? No comment. Hey, Bomb Bomb, can I have your hat? I wear that all fucking day. I've got a question for Rob. Don't, don't ask me for any of my shit. I, like, I, I'm, not, I'm not as generous. Rob, how did you get to be quite so sexy? Mate, I'll let you in on a secret, mate. Got a, got a little Lebanese barber in Camden, threads the hell out of my eyebrows, pulls out the string, goes, and boom, look at it. Look at me shine, mate. <laughs> we'll go back over here. What do you have, sir? Heaviest hitter you've all faced. And second part, can anyone hook me up with any VIP tickets or? <laughs> I'm late for this. Though. Kyle, we'll start with you down there. Can you recall the hardest puncher or striker you ever faced? Uh, for me, it had to be Hector Lombard. I fought him once. He's a little nugget. Small, massive, hit like a train, but I was able to withstand it, so probably Hector. Uh, for me, not fighting wise, but just training in general, Volko, the hardest hitter I've, I've trained with, so. Ty. Probably Mark Hunt. <laughs> the lead horse. That's a safe one. Uh, Bar the guys I got, you know, that finished me. Um, probably Gasolim. He was, he just had some heavy hands from like no range. Thank you. Back over here. I just want to say thanks for coming out here too. Just uh, stoked to have you here, even if you was um, fighting. But uh, tied to us, I want to know, where's the after party on Sunday, mate? Drink west. I've got to check the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> look out. The look out. That's you. That's Shay. I'll be there from, uh, oh, there's no fucking signal service, whatever it is. Yeah, the lookout. That's where I'll be at. No worries for the plug, mate. Have a good one. Yeah, show. Sure. Question for Rob. When are you going to get your hands on Costa and knock that bitch out? <laughs> mate, I wanted to get my hands on him this weekend. Like, that, that was the plan. I was so excited for that fight. I, I really... Yeah, I had a lot of plans for it. I thought it would have been a really killer stellar fight. I would have put on a killer show for you guys, but it is what it is, you know. He's a fucking pussy. Fuck that cunt. Oh, God. Woo. Back over here. Go ahead. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Robert. I, I have a question for you. Came over uh, from Germany to here to ask you this question. Um, are you going to fight Hamzat? I, you know what, like, I only found out about his tweet two days ago, yeah. so um, I don't know, like I am down to fight anybody, the only thing for me is that my objective has never changed or wavered, it's the UFC gold, so every step that I take forward has to be in that direction, you know, I'm, I'm hoping Izzy or, or, or Piera, uh, Pereira falls down the steps, you know, and then I slide in, it's uh it, it's one of those things. It's just a bit of a weird time at the moment. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you. Uh, my question's for Kyle. Uh, not many people know, but you used to train uh, with Steve Irwin. I wonder if you've got any good sparring or uh, training stories that you can about Steve. Uh, yeah, Steve loved training. Um, shit, before he'd do an interview, he'd get me to punch him in the guts a few times because he didn't want to talk to anyone, so that'd get him hyped up for it. Or he'd just come charging at me and... and you know, asked me to knock him out a few times. But the man was an animal, he loved fighting. I have a particular story. Can you tell the one where he um, said, what would happen if I just came at you like I was in a bar and just swing wild punches? Yeah, when he first started to learn how to fight, he, he didn't quite understand. He's like, what happens if I just come charging at you? If I throw a haymaker, he's still gonna be able to get out of the way and, and do it. And I was like, well, you come at me and I'll see if I can outpoint you and strike you. And then he just come charging with haymakers and I was able to jab him and put a right on him and drop him to a knee. And then he'd get up and charge at me again. And after the second time I dropped him, he's like, all right, I see how it works now. We're gonna get back to technical stuff. <laughs> Thanks, y'all.
Rob, we've come all the way from Cronulla, Sydney. Fuck, here we go. Represent. Here we go. Yeah. Right. Live athletic. Just <laughs> as right. There it yeah. is. Even though we didn't, we missed out on tickets, but that's all right. You know, you might still have some hope. <laughs> and uh, my question is just for all the boys, why do you think uh, MMA has just exploded in Australia recently and that we're flying all over Australia just to see you guys? Mate, it's because we, we're producing this sort of stuff here. Because we smack cunts. Yeah. Yeah. We produce the best fighters in the world, and that's all it. That's facts. We produce the best fighters in the world. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I've got a question for the three active fighters. So Rob, Ty and Kai. If you were the matchmakers, if you could choose your next fight, could we get a call out from all three of you? Start with Rob. No. I, I, I want to fight either Israel or Pereira. Like they're, they're the guys. That, that's the fight I want. Whoever's holding that gold belt. So it's Pereira at the moment. That's who I want. Ty Kai, any names on the tip of your tongues? <laughs> uh, tough question. You know, my last fight against Moreno, it was close. I, you know, arguably I was probably winning. But, you know, he, he landed that, that shot. But it does show that I'm right there with the best guys in the world. So... Moreno, third, third time's a charm, let's get it. Ah, all the cunts who have beat me already. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to say thanks to the guys for coming down, really appreciate it. Um, you're missing one person on stage though, you've got another living legend, John Wayne Parr up the back here, that should be on stage here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There is a conference where there was a fella that had travelled four different locations to see you, and I wanted to shout him out as well, that poor fella's heartbroken. We're all heartbroken, you're not here, fighting. Appreciate it, Rob. Thank you very much, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The voice of the people, that kind of... Uh, the question for Bam Bam, what is your thoughts on the fight with John Jones and Cyril Gunn? Ooh, it's going to be a good fight. Uh, I want to have a crack at both of them again, so, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a hard fight for Cyril, but John Jones has been out of the game for a little bit, so we'll see. Thank you. Cheers, man. Yeah, so Rob, when you retain or well, regain the title 185, how many defences are you planning until you move permanently up to 205? Oh, the, the move to 205 is something that's like in the works for later down. Um, oh, it's hard to say. I make, I'm so good at 185, though. You know, and I've, 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 <laughs> I've thought of this. I've thought about going up before, but I'm just doing so well. <laughs> you know? Question for Bam Bam, which one of these cunts is getting knocked the fuck out next? And Johnny Anik, we fucking love ya! Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not me! <laughs> Back over here, go ahead man. Yeah. Rob, during the week, uh, Islam was pissed off that Dana forgot his name. How do you think he's gonna react when he forgets his own name after Vogue smashes his face in? Uh, I, I assume not very well. <laughs> yeah, uh, question for Rob. I was just curious, um, since Costa bitched it, why didn't the UFC offer you a replacement? Mate, yeah, I guess that's uh, the million dollar question, because uh, obviously you saw the likes of Sean Strickland just jumping straight in after a week's notice. It's, um, obviously they had other designs for, for where they want me to fight and when they want me to fight. Uh, again, I guess it kind of aligns with, with my whole goal setting is that I'm, I'm heading towards UFC gold. That is what I'm hunting and what I'm, what I'm looking for. So any, anyone that's not in the way of that isn't really on the radar. Cheers, bro. Thanks. Thank you. Go ahead, young man. Uh, question for Ty. Um, out of all the people you fought, is there anyone that you'd like to have another crack with? Like Everyone who's beat me. Fucking no. I would, I would like to verse the, the Russian who beat me last. I think uh, if I took that on a, on a better frame of mind or whatever, I reckon. But I'd love to run that one back. Yeah, fucking no. Sergey Pavlovich, I believe. Yeah, yeah him. 
My question's for Rob. Obviously, we've got Izzy versus Pereira 2 coming up in the coming months. A lot of people think you're going to be the man to take the belt off Pereira. Do you think you're a better matchup against Pereira compared to Adesanya against him? Uh, I do believe that I have like a, a larger skill set to, to, to fight Pereira with. I, I am not underestimating Pereira's stand-up ability at all. He is a phenomenal fighter. There are, I think there are a lot of little things that he does stand-up-wise that a, a lot of the fans can't appreciate. That, that fight between Adesanya and Pereira was one of the highest level fights I've ever seen in terms of the, the stand-up caliber. But I, I do have a lot of faith, especially after coming off that second Adesanya fight, what I gained back from that fight, in my own skill set and how complete it is and how well I can utilize it against someone like Pereira. Hey. Thank you. Back over here, yes. Okay, guys. Welcome aboard. Hey, a um, couple of questions, if you don't mind. I'll take two. Uh, can I get a prediction from all of you around the um, main event and what round Volk's going to finish um, uh, Islam? Kyle, let's start with you. Alexander Volkanovsky, Islam Makashev, which way are you going and how does it end? Uh, I got Volkanovsky winning in the third. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully by submission. Kai, what do you think? Um, you know, trained with Volkanovsky, um, pound for pound, one of the uh, strongest top games ever. Um, so I, I feel like he's going to get a finish, probably the third. Yeah. Ty, Volk! <laughs> I don't know, just hopefully I can see straight by the time the fight comes around. <laughs> uh, you're going to miss it for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're starting early Sunday, baby. You know what time we have. Um, oh, mate, it's, um, it's, it's a hard test. It's a hard test. You could see the size difference when they, they paired up here after they were hydrated a little bit, that there is a, there's a quite significant muscle density advantage and, and height difference. It, it's going to be a hard fight for both guys. Um, yeah, it's... I guess the, the biggest thing, and this is something I've spoken on before, is just like you don't know how good Islam is because it's, it's, he's, he's running that, that same thing Khabib had. It's like, oh, well, so-and-so will be the test for him. But then he goes out and smashes him. And then you're like, well, he hasn't gone up against the defense of so-and-so. And then he smashes him. Then he retires undefeated. Like, you, you know what I mean? You're kind of always chasing how good he is. And I don't know why that is. So I guess that's the biggest mystery mark of why I, it's hard to really give a clear, defining answer because you don't know how good he is. So Vulcan round one. So Vulcan round one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was he going on about that whole time? Just... All right, we're going to go back over here, and just so you know, we got about five minutes more with these athletes, so we'll try to clear out as many of these questions as humanly possible. Go ahead. Uh, my question's for all members of the panel. Um, do you guys all think that all we've seen the turnout here is amazing all weekend? Do you guys think Australia deserves at least maybe one show per year and maybe even get a New Zealand show somewhere down the line? We're going to Sydney this year, I'll fucking tell you right now. We're going to Sydney. Yeah, did you say like a Perth card once a year or an Australian card once a year? Yeah. Perth card? Yeah, Come on, mate. It's maybe somewhere a little closer. Like, like, like Sydney, Melbourne would be all right as well. <laughs> yeah, I think we deserve four or five shows a year here in Australia. You know, like look at the crowd, look at the audience we bring in. Yeah, one in each state. It is about time that UFC come back to New Zealand though, isn't it? Yeah, well, don't remember, we've been fucking locked down for two years, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, the Anzac takeover is in full effect, and for me, I mean, you can be sure you all will be a performance enhancer for us on the sticks tomorrow night. There's nothing like calling fights here, so hopefully we'll be back later this year and two times next year as well. Thank you, brother. I've got a question for Ty. If the opportunity was thrown at you, would you fight John Jones? Tomorrow. And probably blind, too. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, guys. First, thanks for coming back to Australia, but just not back to Australia, to Perth. We flipping appreciate it here. It's awesome. Um, it's been five years since you were here. Joking aside, when do you think we can expect you back? Because we love it. 
I don't have any inside information, despite what some of you may think, but I got to think, given this turnout, given this response, this was one of the single hottest tickets in UFC history. I feel pretty convicted in saying we'll be back here next year. So, Alright, in two months. Alright, leave it with me. Two months. Tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so uh, Robert, first question is for you. So McGregor is coming back to 170, and he looks, looks absolutely monster. Since you were 170 like a while ago, are you willing to come down and make the weight cut and face McGregor eventually? <laughs> no, no I am not. Because, have you seen it size me, brother? Look at these arms, mate! <laughs> I mean, it's a rare panty, and I might as well take a check. And mate, I would have to, I would have to stop eating from now to, uh, to make that weight division. Like, it's, there's just no way. <laughs> there's no way. Okay, lovely. Also, I want to thank you because you have been a true inspiration to me. So thank you very much. For I appreciate that. that. Thank you, mate. And one more question. Bam Bam, are we going to see uh, Shui on the stage? Whoever that kid over there gave me a shoe that was fucking stinking. <laughs> it was stinking. It was a stinky shoe, I could see it. It was worn out. So no shoes No. Well, I don't have beer, I don't have shoes, so I don't yeah. know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. How can I get this beer in the drink? Come on. All right, well, as we await the beer, if we can get that coordinated, I'm sure Ty would participate, but I do want to try to clear out as much of the queue as I can. All right, thank you so okay. much, guys. Thank you. Go ahead, uh, young man. My, dad, my dad's at home watching. Stephen Robertson couldn't hey, come. Bam, bam. You got it right here, brother. <laughs> uh, uh, the shoes are off. Let me hear you, Paul! Yeah. Look at those shoes. They've seen some miles. <laughs> <laughs> Ty is very good at that. All right, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I was just wondering. Next time you see Dana White, would you ask him if he could have an arm wrestle with my dad? Because when my dad has a bit to drink, that's all he talks about. Yeah. <laughs> you talking to me? What? No, I, I, <laughs> next person to see Dana White, tell him to arm wrestle with my dad. That's all right, that talks. will be the first thing I tell Dana the next time yeah. I see him, okay? Yeah, I've got a couple of questions as well. I'm a greedy cunt. First one's for Kai. <laughs> Kai, what was your thoughts on the uh, Moreno figgy fight in Brazil? Yeah, it was a good fight. Um, you know, Moreno showed his dominance and um, made Figgy look pretty easy. So it makes our fight look a lot better, you know, because it was a lot closer. But um, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing, you know, Figgy's going up to Bantam, um, you know, kind of clears the division, lets n new life. I think Pantoja might have the next shot, then I got next. So let's get it. And last one for Rob. Rob, what is it with Vittori? With the fight in Paris, he seems to just get in front of people, but he don't do a lot. I don't know what it is. Fight with Izzy, fight with you. I don't know whether it's your styles, but he doesn't doesn't seem to do a lot. Vittori, I mean, Vittori. I'm I'm sure he would have if I've given <laughs> given him a chance. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I was I was punching him a lot. <laughs> it was kind of you know, putting a spanner in the works. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. All good. Babam as well. I thought I saw you yesterday work going into David Jones. I was like, what the hell are you doing down there at 11 a.m.? Fucking, I don't know either. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Thank you, brother. All right, don't shoot the messenger, but we have time for one more question on each side, I'm being told. So, uh, young man, go ahead. Um, so, Rob, I was just wondering if you could knock uh, Israel Adesanya out for me, please. I'll do it for you. Fuck that guy. I'll do it for you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Well, so, I'll try anyway. <laughs> um, you know, I did try the last time too, just just in case you weren't aware. <laughs> so also, um, I want to become a UFC fighter one day. What would you tell my dad if you had the chance in my position? What would you tell him if I want to become one? Become a UFC fighter? I want to become one, one day. Train hard. Uh, easy. Train hard, mate. 
Simple. Well, that's, that's it. You just got to work hard. For you. Work hard. Me? Yeah. Look at the size of you, mate. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> love you, Rob. I love you too, bro. Have a good one. <laughs> what would you tell my dad? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final question. Go ahead, team. G'day guys, welcome to Perth, um, love having you here. It's a shame that you won't find this, uh, this card, Rob, but um, how do you reckon the card will go for Pahara versus um, Anasanya? How do you reckon the fight will go? Um, I've spoken to a couple of guys on this, like, obviously everyone's curious <laughs> so, for my take on it. It, it all depends on like, how Anasanya's taken the, 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 the last loss, really, because like, losing again, you know, in the MMA after Pereira's come in and he's done his whole thing and, and then losing in that fashion might play on his mind or it could swing the, the entire other way and free him up completely. Like the worst has already happened, already, already took, a lo took a loss. So now he's going in as, as the challenger, hungry, free of all that weight and pressures. You know, we might see a, like a, a much more free and relaxed Adesanya, who knows? Yeah. Thanks, guys. All the best. Can't wait for tomorrow. We can't wait for tomorrow. Thank you guys all for coming out. Can we hear it once more for the athletes? Robert Whitaker, Thank you so much. Kyle Noak. Thank you, Perth. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning.